Ron Weiser. I'm a partner in the healthcare group here at the firm. I've been with the firm for 10 years. And my name is Eliza Angenova, and I'm counsel in the health group. I am approaching my 13th year here at Hogan Levels. When we say patient support, we're really talking, this is mainly focused on pharmaceutical companies, manufacturers, and the support that they provide to patients uh, in, who are using their products. Our job is to help clients do that in a way that um, complies with the various laws that they have to that they have to contend with. I think manufacturers increasingly with very sophisticated medications often in rare diseases um, or for a highly you know for chronic conditions ongoing support of the patient and uh, assisting the patient be educated about not just their medical condition but the products that are on is an additional challenge that uh, manufacturers that have and a service that they like to provide to patients. We're seeing that our, our clients um, recognize the need for them to make, uh, that the resources they can get from their doctor's office is often not enough. There's just really from beginning to end a need um, uh, to support patients throughout the whole process of taking a, um, taking a drug and, uh, and staying with it. One would think that a manufacturer providing free drug to patients, especially financially needy patients, would be a great thing that should be supported. And while the government generally agrees, they have actually uh, established parameters within which manufacturers can do so and restrict the ability of manufacturers to give away their product for free or to help patients uh, afford their, their co-pays or cost-sharing obligations. I think the key takeaway in the area of patient support for drug manufacturers is for clients to understand that the world that the government doesn't necessarily see the world the way that they do. Um, they're very passionate about um, their products, about wanting to help patients, uh, and uh, but they need to understand that the government doesn't always view that as being um, the proper role of the manufacturer. Um, they still view the world as where doctors have the primary relationship with the patient and manufacturers, there are certain areas where they feel manufacturers shouldn't intrude. Um, and so they need to be careful about understanding where those lines are uh, and making sure they're keeping their programs on the right side of those lines.